welcome back to my channel. I'm Raisa Nongshi and welcome to the Halloween week. So for today's video, I'm here with this glammed up gender band version of Joker from Suicide Squad. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy this look and if you wanna know how to get this makeup look right here, then please keep on watching. I have already moisturized my face and first as my base, I'm taking the Krylon paint stick in the shade FS22. As Joker has really pale skin, that's why I'm taking a shade that is really light than my skin tone. And using a brush, I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm going to apply some foundation on top. And for that, I have taken the Elegant Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Porcelain and the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And with a beauty blender, I'm going to blend that on my skin. Now with the Elegant Pro Concealers in the shade Light Yellow and Porcelain, I'm going to conceal my dark circles and highlight a little bit on the centers of my face. And to set that really heavy base, I'm going to use a generous amount of loose powder and for that I have taken the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. As you guys can see, I'm really packing the powder onto my skin because the base makeup is really heavy. Now I'm doing my brows and for the green color, I'm using a green acrylic paint. This is a non-toxic acrylic paint. For my eyeshadow, first I'm taking the W7 Dust Till Down eyeshadow palette and taking a red brick color from there. I'm applying it all the way from my inner corners up to my outer corners and also really generously on my lower lash line. Now I'm applying a black gel eyeliner all over my eyelids and lower lash line. This is going to work as my eyeshadow base. And to set that eyeshadow base, I'm taking a black eyeshadow from the Kathleen Lights palette. And to blend out the edges of the black eyeshadow, I'm taking a grey eyeshadow from that same palette on a tiny blending brush. Now I'm taking the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Wifey. I'm going to apply it on my waterline. And don't worry, this lipstick is completely safe to use on your eyes as well. For mascara, I have taken the Balm Mad Lash Mascara. Here I'm contouring my face with the W7 bronzer and I mixed in a little bit of a grey eyeshadow. Now for my lashes, I'm taking the Jans lashes in collaboration with Nahila Hidayat and this is in the style Queen of Arts. For highlighting my brow bones and my cheekbones, I'm going to take a white shimmery highlight shade from the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar Highlighting Palette. I'm applying it on my brow bones, highest points of my cheekbones, cupid's bow, chin and mints, also the size of my forehead. For the lips, first I'm going to line it with a black eyeliner. And then for the actual lipstick, I'm going back to the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wifey. Going back to that same highlight shade, I'm going to highlight my collarbones and the neck. Here I did all the tattoos of Choker off camera and also the hair. And if you're wondering, I used a green acrylic paint to color the hair. I'm not sure if it's 100% safe to use on your hair, but I have done some researches and I have seen a lot of cosplayers do this technique. So I did that, but trust me, I won't suggest you guys to use acrylic paint on your hair. I think it would be a better option if you use a green colored hairspray for this. 
and that's it guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Let's go. 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 Let's go.